Hey folks, I'm going to share with you how to change the nozzle on a Cobra Neo and I'm going to change mine to steel because I want to run carbon fiber laced filament on this printer. So these are the tools that you're going to need in order to be able to change the nozzle. I'm using a pair of slip joint pliers that'll use to hold the block. I'm going to use the nut driver to remove and install the nozzle and the 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench is used to remove the cover. If you decide to change the steel like I'm going to do, just make sure that you buy the right tip and it's an M6 thread on that nozzle. Okay, so the two screws that you need to remove are these two uppermost outer screws right here to get the cover off. Wow, I already love this so much better than the Go. Because all you got to do after you're taking those two screws out is you give it a gentle squeeze and it slides right off. That is fantastic. I absolutely love that. So before I go heating this thing up to be able to release that nozzle, I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to take that little insulation sock off. Very important that you put that back afterwards. And I just want to let you know that it's very important to be able to grab this aluminum block firmly when it comes time to remove it, uh, remove the nozzle. We do not want to be transferring any torque through that printhead. Hold this block very firmly. Make sure that you've got a set of pliers that is grabbing it by the sides and not by the corners. Otherwise, you'll end up rounding out the corners. Now, I'm going to warm up the block. But before I do, I'm going to remove the filament and I'm going to get as much as I can out of that nozzle before trying to remove it. So now I'm using the control panel. I'm going to go down to prepare and then I'm going to hit preheat PLA. I'm just going to wait until that reaches temperature. Once it reaches temperature, I'll show you a little trick to try to clear out as much filament out of the nozzle before you actually change it. Okay, so now we've reached temperature. What I like to do is relieve the tension on the extruder gear and do a quick push pull. So I'm pushing filament out and then I do a quick pull back and you're going to see that I have a nice clean end there and there should be minimal filament in that nozzle. My Neo is used, so I don't know if it came originally with a piece of tube, but I had this piece of PTFE uh, tubing, so I put it in to be able to have it so that the filament wouldn't be doing any funny bends into the head. Let me know if yours came with one of these or not. So now I've got a good grip onto the nozzle block and I'm unscrewing the nozzle. Just be careful that nozzle is going to be hot so don't touch it with your fingers. Okay so I've dropped my steel nozzle into my nut driver and if you ever have a problem getting a thread started just make sure you don't cross thread it. You can always turn it backwards until you feel it seating into location. Okay, so just make sure that that hot end is cooled down before you try to slip the insulation sock back on so you, that you don't burn your fingers. So while you got the cover off, you should use canned air for electronics to de-dust the whole printhead assembly. The only thing, just try not to blow right into the bearings when you're going to be de-dusting. So we just want to clean it up. as that. All right, so now I'm just going to reverse the process by sliding the cover back into uh, place and then reinstall the screws. Okay, so now I'm going to reload my filament and I'm ready to test. That is a lot easier than changing the nozzle on the Cobra Go. So before doing any more testing, I'm going to run a bed leveling. So after running a bed leveling, I ran one of the brims that I like to run so much. And as you can see, that's wafer thin, very, very smooth. Uh, so that seemed pretty good to me. So I decided to go ahead and run myself a calibration cube. Uh, 
I set the retraction to two millimeters at 25 millimeters per second and I printed this calibration cube peeling it fresh off the plate as you can see it came up great the brim around it I mean I, mean, I know it's huge but with the size of the print head to be able to see it a deer the print head covers it if I was to make a much smaller brim and I really wanted to test it out and see that everything's working well so 210 degrees on the uh, nozzle and 50 degrees on the bed and this thing came out beautiful very happy very impressed with this anyways if you have any questions please leave them in the comments if you found this video to be helpful and you enjoyed it please consider liking and subscribing thanks for watching happy printing